Hello everyone and welcome back to Nail Art by Nessa and the second week of the Spotlight Collab May Challenge. This week's challenge was chosen by Criminal Claws and Sweet Tea Nails and they chose Tattoo as this week's nail theme. So let's get started. For this set, I chose Bamboo Shoots by Born Pretty as my base color and I am applying two layers of this color and setting each layer in the light. While I'm doing that, let me tell you about the two ladies who chose this week's theme. First up is Criminal Claws, and she does some really awesome art. Check out these Simpsons radioactive glow-in-the-dark nails and these really pretty peace nails. And last week's theme, Pac-Man nails. Her Miss Pac-Man nails are awesome. If you haven't watched the video yet, go check it out and don't forget to subscribe. And next up we have Sweet Tea Nails. She is the creator of this collab challenge group. And last year she was my partner and we had dragon themed nails. These nails are so amazing. Like look at all the textures, just so beautiful. And for a Halloween group, she created these American Horse Story themed nails. They are so creepy, I absolutely love them. And last week she created these neon sign Pac-Man nails. They're so good. So please go check out all of her videos and everyone else's too. There are nine people in this group, so please check out all of our videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, let's get back to my set of nails and let's do some art. So I'm going to use my stamping plate Nicole Diary 170. This is a brand new plate so I had to remove the blue film before I could get started. I'm going to stamp my images in black so I'm going to use my Two Joy black stamping polish. Next up I decided I really wanted to add like a skull or something, something that is traditionally tattoo. So I decided to use this Shop Ants XL 036 plate and I take this one skull image with the flower coming out of his eye. Once I was happy with the layout of my images, I just took a little bit of acetone on a cleanup brush and I'm just cleaning up any little rogue bits of black polish. 
After cleaning up, I decided I wanted to add one more image, so I took this small Nicole Dowry 125 plate, and I'm just picking up one more small image of flowers and stamping it in between the two nails with the butterfly and the skull. Next, I apply a layer of matte top coat. This is to prepare the nails for the colors that I'm going to apply. Next up, you're going to see me add a couple more images to my nails and really I could have done this at the same time that I was adding the other images, but I really wasn't sure how I was going to create this effect. So what I'm trying to create is I really wanted to have a couple fresh tattoos next to the little bit older tattoos. I feel like people who have a full sleeve or a full back that are really into their tattoos, they're always adding to them. So I really wanted to create this look of having a couple new tattoos. To color in the images, I wanted to try a little bit different technique. So I'm actually going to be using my alcohol ink art markers. So these are markers that I bought for paper crafts, but I thought it'd be fun to try and use these to color in the images. So the first color I chose is this fuchsia pink and I'm just coloring it on my palette and then I'm going to water it down with alcohol and I'm going to color it around my new tattoos. So I'm trying to create sort of a irritated red skin look around these. I really wanted to have a realistic look to these new tattoos. Once I felt like the skin around my fresh tattoos looked sufficiently irritated, I went ahead and started coloring the rest of my images. So I tried a couple different techniques. The first technique I used is where I color it on the palette and then use a little bit of alcohol on a brush and then paint the color onto the image. The second technique I used is where I actually color directly onto the image and then I use a little bit of alcohol on my brush to spread out the color. Um, another technique I used is where I actually take a darker marker and then a lighter version of that and then sort of blend and spread out the color that way. These markers blend really nicely. Alcohol ink markers are so easy to use. I definitely recommend giving this a try. Um, if you don't have any kind of art supply markers, you could use colored Sharpies. Those are alcohol inked markers. 
So give this a try for yourself at home. It is a lot of fun.
Once everything was all colored in, I went ahead and sealed it with the matte top coat. Now, when using products that are not designed for nails, sometimes it can react with the nail products in unexpected ways. And in this case, the red ink reacted with the matte top coat and it turned it like a fluorescent pink orange color. So I wasn't really that happy with that, but that was just the roll of the dice. You never know what's going to happen. And it did turn it a kind of funny color. Okay, so I'm almost finished with this set. I'm just going to take my shiny top coat and I'm going to go over the lines of the fresh tattoos. So I'm going to make this look as fresh as possible. When you have a fresh tattoo, your body is trying to heal that area so the area will actually look shiny and wet. So that's exactly the look I'm trying to create. Is my final look. I am really happy with the way these nails turned out. I really wasn't sure what I was going to create when I first went into this, but I think they turned out better than I was expecting. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think these look like tattoo nails? Don't forget to like and subscribe and please check out all the other girls YouTube and Instagram channels. I have all the links in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!